because we're getting ready for the change of clocks this weekend. Many of us will, many of us will be welcoming the chance to get that extra hour of sleep come Sunday. Yeah, what happens though is you start a new work week and your internal clock is making the adjustment. And how long should it take to get back to what feels like a normal sleep schedule? For some answers, we turn to Adventist Health Sleep Specialist, Dr. Cam Atwal is here. And doctor, first of all, it doesn't seem like one hour should be that big a deal. Why is it that the body has some trouble adjusting? Well, you know, we are creatures of habit. By very nature, humans are creatures of habit. We need a routine. So that one hour may not seem like a big deal, but it really is because our internal clock, just like Chris says, gets out of sync. Is it the light that's messing with your system? Absolutely, light is a big cue. Kathy, you remember from my previous uh, <laughs> presence on here. So light is a big cue, you know, the, the light gets less and less. So our brain gets a little confused as to whether it should be sleeping or whether it yeah. should be awake. You compare this a little bit to airplane travel, right? Tell us about that. So it's society's imposed jet lag. Yeah. That's what it is yeah. in essence. So one hour doesn't seem like a lot, but for some of us, it is really quite a, a you know, difficult time adjusting. Yeah. When should we be eating? When should we be sleeping? When should we be exercising? All that routine gets out of sync, and it can take sometimes up to six days to accommodate to that one hour yeah. difference. They always say with the air travel, a day for every hour that you've, you know, In changed. general, Kathy, that's a good rule to follow. Yeah. But there are, there has been research done that some people, it can take them up to six days to really accommodate yeah. to that one hour. Yeah, let's talk about pets and kids. All of us have a lot of them. Yes. It, it affects them too. What can we do with pets and children to make up for this? So for children and pets, again, you know, they are creatures of habit also, yeah. and children have a harder time adjusting to the hour difference. So really for parents of young children, I tell them the week before, maybe stop putting their kids 15 minutes to bed a little later. Yeah. So by the time that, you know, one hour difference <laughs> comes, you're ahead of the game. But the good news is, folks, like the fall back is a lot easier to adjust to than the spring forward. Yeah, yeah. So if there is some good news, that's the good news. What about research? Does it really show that there's an impact on society with this change in terms of number of accidents, for example? Absolutely. So again, what happens is we're sleep deprived anyway. With that one hour adjustment, our sleep isn't as good because we're forced to go to bed maybe at a time we're not accustomed to, so you don't sleep as well. So then we become more sleep deprived. The research has shown Sunday and Monday increased car accidents, increased mistakes at work. And so maybe don't get your surgery on Monday. You know, yeah. those surgeries <laughs> might be like, <laughs> no, just That's kidding. Um, but you know, there are a little more accidents that yeah. happen on the Sunday or Monday uh, following the time change. Okay. I'm going to power through it, and yeah. then the kids get up at 5.30, and you can't really get that extra hour of sleep. Right. Should you ever do something like melatonin? So, melat so the things that you can do proactively, don't go into this fatigued and tired. Yeah. Try to go to bed maybe like half an hour later. Expose yourself to bright light in the daytime to stay awake, and at night, turn down the light. And melatonin, one to three milligrams before like bedtime, maybe an hour before bedtime. Wow. Makes me have good dreams, too. Yes. Yes. I recommend Great it for advice. just for the yeah. dreams. <laughs> Dr. Cam Atwell, always good to see you. You know, she tells me she sleeps like a baby. Yeah. I'm jealous. She should, right? You better be sleeping like a baby. All right.